No, I won't. <laughs> no, sir. Won't be having another baby in at least five years. No, no. No more sex. <laughs> IUD. <laughs> channel um it's been a long time literally but we have so much to talk about um you'll hear about it if you want to see how i got this look and you want to hear about my very eventful 12 months away from youtube then just keep on watching tell somebody about this channel make sure you like comment subscribe i mean i think i'm a cool person i'm funny you'll laugh in this video for sure and if you just want to see how i got this very thrown together look then just keep on watching and to the video whichever way that is because you know <laughs> I'm looking a little sick right now we're just gonna paint this out the way while I do my face it's been a while okay it's it's been a while and I know and I know that y'all like girl last freaking october you did a where have i been blah 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 video and where have you been um so i think i have a valid excuse this time excuse this um i had a baby <laughs> whoa so a lot changed in a little bit of time um so yeah um if you we're gonna talk about a lot today all right okay so yeah a lot has changed that's the whole point of this video um we're gonna talk about it all we are going to talk about it all i'm getting my life okay this is gonna be a chit chat get ready with me i'm gonna do my makeup because i haven't done my face um in weeks let's just get started okay i have on glasses right now i'm just gonna We'll take these off. I look so sick. I have not worn makeup in five ever. And it's time that I, you know, start looking like my regular self again because this is getting out of control. Why you want to start waking up when I decide to be productive? This too much. <sighs> Being a mom is the absolute most. So what have i been up to literally my life has been just like in it was in autopilot for like a good year from the since the last time i made that video after that like my life just went straight into autopilot like i don't even remember that video was so long ago and i was just like bruh like <laughs> the time flew and i'm looking back and i'm like it's literally been 12 months since i made that last video and so much has changed first thing i finished school <laughs> I, fin I finished cosmetology school um i didn't take my um state boards yet because and i've already moisturized my face just so y'all know but basically i haven't taken my state boards yet because i was um eight months pregnant when i finished school i was just like just past eight months pregnant and so i decided to wait until after i have the baby to take my state board so i'll probably be taking my written really soon and then not too uh far after that i'll be taking my practical i feel completely prepared for them i just um my practical i knew that i could not get through that because the test really doesn't take that long but you know it's always that one person that take 20 hours to do the simplest stuff and i was not trying to have my eight month pregnant self up in there standing up because you can't sit down so I was not trying to be up in there pregnant and passing out and stuff in the middle of the test that I paid to take. Because I won't go and pay to take it again if I fail. So I was just like, I'll just wait and um, do it all at one time. So yeah, that was that. But I finished school. I was so freaking happy when I finished school. Being in school and pregnant, girl. Like, you already annoyed about everything else that's going on just because you just annoyed to be annoyed because you're pregnant. But um, to be in school... And dealing with the just the dumbest stuff that you have to deal with, you know, when you're 
just anywhere, honestly, on a job in school. And I was working too. Everything just got on my nerves. But yeah, I finished. I made it through. Everything came out, you know, awesome. I had, um, I was on the 90-90 list, which means like 90% uh, or above attendance, 90% or above um, GPA, you know, with your grades and all that stuff. So since I was doing the thing, you know, I'm proud of myself. Okay, well, my pregnant self, I finished school. I was so happy. I'll insert some pictures of me pregnant. I had the smallest belly. Like, I literally look exactly the same <laughs> as I did before I had the baby. I look no different. My face didn't get fat. Like, nothing. Only thing that changed was my eyesight, which is still kind of... That's why I have my glasses on. My eyes are just doing the most right now. But literally, I mean, my pregnancy was awesome. I found out I was pregnant in February. <laughs> and no, it was not on purpose. No, I was not trying to get pregnant. Like, no. But I found out I was pregnant and I was just like, oh, my Jesus. And so um, I told my boyfriend, he was like, well, we're going to have to just do what we got to do. And I'm like, do, <laughs> do. Like, I, there's a child inside. Like, I was freaking out. And I mean, not in a way of like, oh, my God, what, what am I going to do? Am I going to give a, I never, I don't believe in abortions. I, and, you know, not trying to crack on nobody who does believe in them, but I don't personally so I knew that I was gonna keep my baby I just was scared because I was in school working you know part-time because school's 30 hours a week so I mean so I literally was working like 20 hours a week making ten dollars an hour and in school 30 hours a week not making no money because you don't get paid to go to school so like I was just like how in the heck are we gonna pull this off like what's gonna happen but you know, we trusted God through the whole process and everything was amazing. Um, my baby, she came out healthy. She was born at 39 weeks and she came out healthy. She was six pounds and 1.5 ounces, my little nugget. And she's doing so good now. Sis got a personality on her, but I mean, look at her mom. So, <laughs> what can we say? You know, we can't really. No one's to blame here. I love being a mom. Like, I literally, I love it. It's it's awesome. Like, it's, when the baby comes out, like, while you're pregnant, you know, you're like, oh, my God, I can't wait for my baby to get here. But, like, when your baby gets here, it's something that, like, I can't even really explain it. Like, it's a, like, you get a love for somebody that you don't know. Because if you think about it, let me put some lip gloss on because my lips are dry and I'm talking a lot. When you think about it, like, you don't know the baby <laughs> before they get here. Of course, they're, like, living inside of you. And, like, of course, y'all have that bond. But in all actuality, you don't know the baby. Like, But when the baby gets here and, like, you lay your eyes on your baby and you see the fact that this child was inside of you for, you know, however long you were pregnant, like, that is, like, that's a feeling that I literally cannot explain. And, like... All I could do was cry. Like, when she came out, I was crying like a baby. Literally, it's the best feeling in the world. It's like, this is my baby. <laughs> like, I I made you. I literally made you. Like, you came out of me. But when I first found out I was pregnant, I was like, I don't know about this. Like, what am I going to do? How am I going to do this? You know, like, but when, you know, it's like it all comes to you at one time. Like, it was like at that moment, as soon as she came out, it was like, oh, I'm ready for this. Like, I'm a mom. I know how to do this. This this is it. You know, like it just comes naturally to you. And I'm just like, <laughs> okay, mom status, you know, mom life. Turn up, you feel me? Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, but like that was one of the best feelings in the world. Um, all I could do was cry. I was just crying. Oh, my baby, thank you, Jesus. And, oh my God, it was just so awesome. And then, like, to have the support that I have is, like, unmatched. You know, for me to be freshly 21 and all these people are like, oh, I support you. I can't wait to come see you and your baby. Do you need anything? Like, for all these people to be doing this, it's really a blessing. And it really shows how society is changing as well. Like, I just, let me tell you about this. I feel like 2018... God has something for it. Must be another baby boom going on or something. So many people are pregnant, were pregnant, got pregnant, 
about to have a baby, had a baby, you know, like, I don't know what was going on. <laughs> It's crazy. I don't even know what God got going on. I ain't gonna question him. But it seems like everybody and their mama got pregnant in 2018. But the good thing about that is that, one, can't nobody look down on you because ne the next week they ended up being pregnant. And then two, it's like everybody can kind of support each other through this. I cannot tell you how many people I went to high school with or went to um, Aveda Cosmetology School with um are pregnant were pregnant had a baby about to have a baby i cannot tell you how much support that actually helps me with and vice versa them you know like one of my closest friends that i met at aveda she was pregnant she had her baby three months before me she was literally going through stuff right before i went through it so then like i would tell her i was going through stuff. she's like oh that'll be over in no time you know i went through that when i was pregnant with my baby and so like literally it's I don't know it's it's just it's, my pregnancy experience was awesome i mean of, of course i had like my attitude and stuff because i'm Bria, you know like well, come on now i mean it was just one of the best experiences ever you know like i had so much support i had so many people in my corner i had so many people you know giving me advice i had so many people you know telling me about their experience and then even like in the youtube community like literally all I saw was videos of, you know, people, my 15 week update, blah, blah, blah. And it was so nice to be able to see people my age that look like me, that are in similar predicaments as me going through what um, I was going through. So that was cool. That was real cool. You know, being pregnant was cool. Do I miss it? No. Everybody's talking about, you gonna miss you, baby. You gonna miss being pregnant. The hell with that. No, I don't. I love my body. You know? Of course, I mean, I wouldn't change a thing about getting pregnant at all, but I miss my belly, blah, 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 blah. Who? Who? I don't miss nothing about being pregnant. I could not sleep. Um, I couldn't eat like I wanted to. I literally could only eat like one third of every meal that I got because I was so freaking big, which I wasn't even that big, but I like my everything was pushing down on my stomach so i couldn't even eat like i wanted to and you talk about it had me hot and then i couldn't sleep like i wanted to and getting nauseous all the time and uh certain things i couldn't eat no more do you know this little girl right here made my body not like mexican food if you ask anybody that's all i used to eat is mexican food and i did not eat mexican food for a good Actually, I didn't eat, like, authentic Mexican food, like the real Mexican restaurants, not, like, no moles or chilies or nothing. The real Mexican restaurants, I don't even know if I can still eat that yet because I haven't even tried it since I've had my baby. But, like, I couldn't eat moles for, like, two-thirds of my pregnancy, like, more, probably, like, three-quarters of my pregnancy, really, to be honest. And you talking about mad because that's my jam. Like, I love me some Mexican food, and you need to tell me. If this little girl just gonna come around and, and just dictate what I can and can't eat. <laughs> Sis. Yeah, I don't at all miss being pregnant. At all. I'm not doing no big super look. I just really felt like putting on some makeup. Like, I've been looking sick and dry all day, every day. I just needed a moment. So, I was like, after this baby goes to sleep, I'm gonna film a video and I'm just going to talk because that's what I'm good at. And um, there's nobody else here. So I might as well talk to myself. You know what I'm saying? Being pregnant was was an experience. Uh, would I do it again anytime soon? Uh, no. Not trying to do that. No more, no time soon. For at least for five years. Because um, people, all these people talking, do you miss being pregnant? Do you miss being pregnant? Do you realize that being pregnant leads to having a baby? Being pregnant is the, is the easy part. Okay, because when the child gets here, it says, you don't have no life. And I had Dakota in September. Her name is Dakota, by the way. I haven't been able to leave the house, and I probably won't leave the house until the end of flu season, besides going to work and stuff, because uh, my baby don't need to be out in this. And, you know, everybody and their mama think they can kiss people's child. The harder part, you know, when people literally say, when they say, oh, um, get your sleep now, get your sleep now, because when that baby gets here, you're not going to be able to sleep at all. Since they not lying. They're not, they're not saying that to play with you. Granted, Dakota is a great baby. Like, she literally, she lets mama sleep. You know, I will say that I get some good sleep to have a newborn, to have a five-week-old baby. 
But uh, would I chance it again by having another baby hoping that they like Dakota? No, ma'am. No, sir. I will not. No, I won't. <laughs> no, sir. Won't be having another baby in at least five years. No, no. No more sex. <laughs> IUD. I love being a mom. Do not get me wrong. I love it. It's one of the best experiences that I've ever had in my life. But it's not one of them things you just do for fun. You know, it really humbles you. It really grows you up real, real, real quick. And you're going to realize that it's not about you anymore. You don't have a life anymore. Everything revolves around the baby. Literally, down to the music you listen to. I can't listen to my music no more because Dakota don't like it. So now I got to listen to Old McDonald and, you know, whatever the heck else calms her. At night, we have to listen to Thunderstorms because that's what calms her down. She likes white noise. So that's what we've been listening to. It's just like... Your life completely changes and don't like and for the better. The baby, she brings me so much joy. This child makes me so happy. Like, I don't understand and you know, I'm not trying to knock anybody, but I don't understand how, you know, some people struggle so hard with the um the baby blues and stuff, like when their baby gets here, because my child brings me so much joy, like I don't feel bad. And, you know, like, don't, you know, it's some nights when she wakes me up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm like, girl. And then as soon as I look at her face, I, I forget that it's 4 o'clock in the morning. I feel like I'm just, you know, doing whatever. And I think that's where it comes with the, you know, sacrificing for your child. Like, please don't have a child if you're not ready to sacrifice. Please don't have a child if you're not ready to give up your social life. If you're not ready to tell people I can't make it. If you're not ready to, you know, to do those types of things. Because that's what you're going to have to do, like. If you're not ready to, you know, put everything aside, girl, just just stop having sex because in the way 2018 set up, it clearly it don't matter if you wear a condom. Or that. You really have to sacrifice everything for the child. And honestly, that's something I don't mind doing because I made the decision, you know, to do what I did to get into this predicament. And so now I have to do what I have to do to make sure my child is good. And I don't care to sit in the house all day long if it means my child's not going to get sick, I don't care to, you know, work a job that I don't necessarily want to work. If it means that my child is, you know, going to be good for, you know, a couple months. I got to do what I got to do. And I don't mind doing it. So, that's the deal with that. Um, I am breastfeeding exclusively right now. <laughs> that right there... Now that's something. Breastfeeding, Girl, breastfeeding is not for the weak at heart. Like that stuff is real. And I was like, oh, you gotta do just put the baby on the booty and she just, you know, she suck and go. Now, don't, and it is a lot easier than bottle feeding because at the beginning we did have to bottle feed um, Dakota, so um, it is a lot better. It's easier. You don't have to shake up bottles and clean bottles and do this and do that and mix formula and you don't have to do all that all you gotta do is it, it really that part is easy to pop her on the booby but like sis that stuff takes work your boobs are sore 25 8 like huh and then you know the child she just be wanting to eat like she ain't like she didn't just eat two hours ago so you know she she going in and you just sitting there like but you know the child got to eat. It's it's sacrificing. It's it's really sacrificing. But it's a sacrifice that you have to be willing to make. And like if you're not ready to make that small sacrifice, then you're not ready to make the bigger sacrifices. Like who knows? Yeah, being a mom really, really one it make it humbles you down. Two, it grows you up. But three, it really, really makes you appreciate your parents. It really makes you appreciate everything that they have done or you know do for you you know it makes it really makes you appreciate your parents so much because you have to literally bend backwards for this child like when you think about it this is a infant she can't walk she can't talk only way she can communicate with you is through crying that's the only way that she could tell you that something is wrong and then on top of that you gotta sit here in a crib what it is not like she got a certain cry for when her diapers are wet a certain cry for when um when she hungry it's like you just gotta try everything until she stopped crying 
and that's just how it's gonna be like it really makes you um reflect on how much they really do sacrifice for you and then think of like when we get older and we start costing you know like i'm blessed to say that at our baby shower we got i have not had to buy not one thing for Dakota but we have not had to go to literally go to the store and say dang Dakota need this Dakota need that we were so blessed at my baby shower to literally get everything <laughs> and then some that we needed like we haven't had to buy a pack of diapers haven't had to buy a pack of wipes haven't had to buy not nothing but when you think about people who aren't that fortunate and they have to do that they have to figure out how they're going to um pay their bills because the mom's out of work or how they're going to um you know have diapers for the baby the next day like when you think of stuff like that and some of our parents went through that when you think of that you really get thankful and you really like become so grateful and you're like y'all did what i had to do to make sure i had what i needed and then some you just realize like how much the child depends on you and how much they need you and you do what you got to do to make sure they're good it don't matter if, you know, Dakota is crying and I just fed her, you know, five minutes ago and her diaper's clean. I'm not going to let her sit there and cry. What's up? What's what's the deal, baby? What you need? You know, your diaper's clean. Um, You just ate. You burped. You don't have no gas. What's up? You know, what's the deal? Are you just going to be held? You're going to be held. really makes you um so thankful, so grateful for your parents and... It makes you want to be such a better person. It really makes you grow up. I can't tell you um, how many people I, I follow on social media just because they post things that don't really settle right with my spirit. And my spirit, and not like my spirit as Bria, but my spirit as a mother. And that's cool. You know, I can't come for nobody for living their life the way they want to. But just like you have to keep your mind positive because if you don't, your baby's going to sense that you got stuff going on. And then your baby's going to pick up on that bad energy. So then you realize that, like, this child is literally 155% dependent on me. Whatever I do, it affects her her everything. And it's really, it's really nice to realize that someone completely depends on you. Um, but then again, it can be very intimidating. It can get to the point where you, like, she depends on me. So, like, what if I jack up? What if I mess up? It's a lot of stuff that you don't think about, you know, until you have a baby. And I'm just so thankful that I was given this opportunity to be a mother. You know, that's something that God literally decided to trust me with. <sighs> so, yeah, it's it's very humbling. It's an awesome experience. I mean, I can just say, and I'm sitting here talking like I've been doing this for years since. I've only been a mom for five weeks. <laughs> but to be honest, I've always had the mentality of a mom. If you're anything like me and you have a younger sibling who kind of sort of depended on you, almost like you felt like you were like their parent in a way, then you know what I'm talking about. You feel like you've already been a parent before, but now it's like real, for real, for real. Like, you know, it, it's for real, for real. You know, your parent, you can't just give the baby back to your parents no more. Like, this is yours. Now, let me tell you about that. Because people, listen, people are good for, people are good <laughs> for, oh, you know, and as soon as the baby get fussy, I <laughs> try to hand it back to you. She was sleeping before you came over here. She was peaceful, rested, at ease. And then you decide you want to come over here and visit. And then when she get riled up, you want to hand it back. No, go back there and change your diaper. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, don't get her all hyped up. And then when she start turning up on you, you decide, oh, it's time to hand her back. No. Hand her back to me the way that she was handed unto you, sleeping. <laughs> you know, I'm just playing. Though. It's really nice to have uh, people, you know, come and visit you while you're here with the baby. Honey, them days get a little long when you just sitting here by, your, by yourself with a baby. It gets long and it gets real. But, you know, a lot of my... I'm filming, sis. Because a lot of your days start running together. It gets real boring. But one thing I can say is I've been ch uh, checking up. I've been catching up on TV. Uh, when I was in school, I had no time to watch TV. 
I finally started power and I'm almost done with it. So that's been, that's a whole nother video to be honest. You get to slow down. Now that's something I will say I'm very grateful for is the opportunity to slow down. I just felt like when I started cosmetology school, I had just been at it. So when you think about it, cosmetology school doesn't have fall break, spring break, um, summer break. They don't have all, you know, I just felt like I was going at it, going at it, going at it. So in a way, I do feel like, not in a way, this is definitely a blessing, but I feel like God gave me, you know, Dakota to slow me down because I have really just been going at it, you know, wearing myself down. And I do feel like if I didn't have her right now, I wouldn't have stopped. I wouldn't have took no break. So uh, it's definitely been a blessing to be able to slow down, to be able to sit down and enjoy the time, to be able to spend time with my daughter and bond with her, to spend more time with my family. Because like when I tell you I was going, I won't really spend time with nobody. I come home, sleep, and get up the next day and go do the same thing. Um, What has changed about me? Sis, I am an emotional wreck now that I've had this child. I cry about TV shows. Everything makes me cry. Any movie makes me cry. Movies I've seen a million and six times make me cry. I've always been dramatic. Let's, let's go on and put that out there. You know, I did theater and stuff in high school. So let's just go on and realize that I've always been dramatic. But crying was never really my way of showing my emotions until now. I don't understand. So I've never really been, you know, a hot... Let me stop lying. I'm about to lie. <laughs> I don't know. I was just never really a crier. Crying was never really my way of showing my emotions until I had this baby. But now I cry about everything. I was watching Baby Boy today. Why am I sitting here crying? My daddy come home. He was like, you good? You good? I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. He was like, you was crying? I was like, no. Like... So while I get my life together, we interrupt your regularly scheduled program to tell you to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Comment something that you have in common with me, you know? Comment something. Uh, talk to me because I like talking to you guys. And uh, make sure you subscribe. Share this channel. Share this video with somebody, you know? Show somebody that you love me. Show somebody that you care. Um, I'm just getting my life together. I'll be right back in a couple seconds. But thank you for watching this video. And dudes, it, I don't even know if it's any dudes watching this, but if you got a girl and she having your baby or um, she pregnant, bruh, appreciate her. Because they do, we, they do, we, me included, do so much. So just appreciate her because you never know. Like, I was watching a video on Facebook today and this wife had her husband on the uh, contraction simulator machine so basically he was feeling the, the the pain of contractions sis where can i buy one of these what do i need to do to get my hands on one of these i need her i need her because if every man could feel the pain the pain who's child the pain of them contractions, honey, honey. And to these women out here doing it natural, bruh, y'all are super women. I went in there, I was like, I wanna try to do it as natural as possible. As soon as they offer you the epidural, sis, take it. Take it, it's it, take it. Girl, I have never, you, some people you ask them like what does it feel like to give birth what does it feel like to have contractions and they say oh it just feel like period cramps no it don't since you lied to me you lied because you sat there and told me that it felt like period cramps and i ain't never in my life had a period cramp like that sis lied contractions do not feel like cramps if they felt like cramps they would be called cramps girl it's a no it is, it is a no. Girl, I don't know what this lash is doing right here. But for video purposes, we just gonna keep it pushing, okay? Life has been great. I can't complain one bit. I'm just so blessed um, beyond measure. I have so many people in my corner. I have so many people praying for me. Uh, I have so many people, you know, doing whatever they gotta do to make sure I'm good. 
and I could not have had a better experience as a first time mom. I pray, I pray that everybody who is pregnant right now, who is, uh, who's just had a baby, who's about to have a baby, I just pray that everybody has a support system like mine or something similar to mine because the people in my corner have been so amazing when i tell you i'm still getting stuff in the mail and my child is over a month old like what after that first week people visiting and stuff you know it kind of tears off people don't really come around like that so when you know people are still sending you stuff still texting you and make sure you good to still texting you and saying you need anything you know it's awesome to know that people are in your corner like that honestly like thank thank you to everybody who's doing that for me and my baby and for my family everybody it's amazing i'm sitting here like doing the mushy part of the video with one eyelash on anyways uh, oh let's talk about this mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. hair okay it's a little bent because of the ponytail but you know y'all know y'all know what's up the hair growth now let me tell you one thing dakota danielle gave her mama some inches okay hair was not looking like this before sis came around okay hair started growing like crazy <sighs> to be honest still cute whether the last one right or not okay we interrupt this one last time to give you one more chance to subscribe one more chance to subscribe that's all you get one more chance subscribe like and thumbs up thank you okay this is about as good as it's gonna get because i'm not putting no heat on my hair just to um to uh do this okay okay y'all well thank you for listening to me babble um i'm not gonna promise that i'm gonna start filming and stuff because i lied to y'all last time and i'm tired of lying to my subscribers but the, the two the two subscribers i have but i am gonna try to do better i have a lot more time on my hands so i will be able to actually film and to actually do some stuff for y'all but um thank y'all for watching thank y'all for listening to me babble comment below if you you know have anything in common comment below if you're a new mom if you got any tips or any video ideas that you would like for me to film let me know uh, i have nothing but time on my hands <laughs> so yeah thank you guys for watching i hope y'all like this through through together look um i guess i still got a little bit of skills under my belt <laughs> But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I love you all so much. Thank you all for supporting me and being there for me. My baby is starting to wake up, so I'm going to make it quick. And like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel. And make sure you tell somebody about my channel. Tell a friend, tell a family member, tell a cousin. Tell somebody about my channel. I love you guys. I hope you all have an amazing holiday season. It's time for holidays. And I'll be back soon. Love you.